Let's take a look at the subtractive synth available in Studio One, which is the Mojito. Subtractive synthesis is a form of synthesis where the partials of harmonics of the sound is attenuated by a filter, which in turn alters the timbre of the sound. So on this synth, the synth waveform is attenuated by the cutoff low pass filter. These are very well suited to creating bass sounds, but can also be used to create pads and lead sounds. This is the default sound when Mojito is loaded up. Let's navigate this user interface and start on the left. Over here is the oscillator of the Mojito. The pitch can be edited. There's also a choice of waveforms. This is between a saw and a square. So you can mix between these two waveforms. Starting from the saw, and moving all the way across to the square. Next up is the width. The default patch sets the width to quite a wide sound, but you can also drag this all the way down for a more mono sound. You can't really hear too much difference on the saw waveform, but when you move it over to the square waveform, you can hear that width kicking in. When you add some effects through the effects section, then the width really changes up the sound. Next is the LFO for the oscillator. The speed is displayed over here. You can click on the display and choose a different LFO speed, or you can use this dial here to change the speeds. Currently the LFO is set to the tempo speed, but this can also be changed to hertz. And you can also just click here to type in a speed. Change it back to tempo and set it to half notes. Under the pitch, wave and width, you can dial in how much of the LFO is applied to these parameters. Let's create some pitch LFO modulation. So the LFO speed is set at half notes. Now increase the LFO that's being applied to the pitch. Hear how the pitch is modulating up and down. If you turn the LFO to the left, it changes the direction of the LFO. Try some different LFO speeds. Try quarter notes. Or maybe eighth notes. Maybe try something faster, like 16th notes. Also, you can set the LFO to modulate between the waveforms. Or you can even modulate the width. Adding subtle width modulation can really help beef up your sounds. This parameter here introduces a low sub-oscillator into the sound source. If you increase it and play a lower note, you can't really hear it. But if you move up to a higher note, you can hear that lower sub-oscillator sound. Drop it down. Now increase it again. Hear how it increases that sub-oscillator, giving you more bassier sounds to your higher sounding patches. Down here, you can set the portamento time. This introduces a sort of sliding sound between notes when they played. Drop the portamento time so you hear what it sounds like without it. Now increase it all the way to the right to hear it in full effect. Hear that big slide between the notes. This works really well to create some transition effects between your notes. 
The portamento time can also be set to different modes. Currently, it's set to legato mode, but you can also try re-trigger mode. Where it re-triggers the portamento each time you hit a note. Or you can set it off to turn off the portamento. Following this is the amp envelope. You have an overall gain, which can be changed. Here is a velocity parameter, where you can change the velocity amount that's applied. This setting is also determined by the ADSR envelope settings. Here you have an attack time, decay time, the sustain level, and the release time. You could introduce a longer attack, which will give for a slower buildup, like a pad sound. Maybe just tweak these parameters and see what happens. And when you increase the velocity, you can hear how these ADSR settings affect the amp envelope. Just return these to their default values. Now this is one of the most important features of the subtractive synth. The cutoff filter. As you can see, this section is much bigger than the rest. The main parameter is this cutoff frequency. Here how it's cutting out the higher frequencies and carving out that sound. This gives you a really good idea of how subtractive synthesis works. Dial in some resonance to create a peak at the cutoff frequency. A sound effect like this is really popular in electronic music productions. This resonance parameter can really be pushed up quite high. And the drive just drives this cutoff frequency a bit more, introducing some harmonics and overtones. And push that drive up. You can hear it driving this cutoff frequency. This key range is a scale that ranges the amount that the cutoff is applied to the sound. Here, how it's changing the range of the cutoff frequency. This velocity will open up the filter. So, the harder you play on the keys, it will affect how the cutoff is applied. You can also dial in an envelope amount. This envelope modulates the cutoff, determined by the ADSR settings. Add in a slower attack, and maybe change some of these other settings as well to affect the modulation of the envelope and the cutoff. Going the other way will invert the way that the ADSR modulates the cutoff. So you can really get some interesting results with the envelope modulation on the cutoff frequency. This LFO works in much the same way as the one on the oscillator, except this one will modulate the cutoff. So you can change the speeds or set the tempo to hertz. And then you can dial in the amount of LFO that's applied to the cutoff. Change the direction. Maybe use a different speed. Try eighth notes. Increase the resonance and tweak the cutoff. Giving you that wobble effect with the LFO modulation on the cutoff. So that's how to create some interesting subtractive synthesis sounds and even get some of that dubstep bass sound wobble in there. You can really get some great bass sounds with the Mojito instrument. And lastly, you have this effects section that can add some color to your sounds. Let's turn this LFO off 
and try this out. Increase the depth. It adds a sort of chorusing effect to the sound. You can change the colour and drive this effect more. This works really well when you increase the width on the oscillator. Increase the depth more, change the colour and drive it some more. Introducing some more harmonics into the sound. Giving you some nice bassy distorted tones. So that's Mojito for you. Get stuck in there and design your own Mojito presets.